today I'm going to show and teach you about how to validate the measurement model. Okay, for most model, there are three separate aspects we should consider during model validations. Okay, first, uh, you have to to test the undimensionality, and second, the validity, and the third one is the reliability. Okay, let's go one by one. Okay, first of all, we have to check the unidimensionality. That's mean we have to check the factor loading for the measuring items. Okay, the measurement for unidimensionality is for the newly item, the factor loadings for an item should be 0 0.5 or higher. But for an established item, the factor loading should be 0 0.6 or higher. Okay, uh, let's say you have these kinds of construct. And after you calculate the estimate, you found that the X12 has a factor loading that is below than 0 0.6. So this has caused the construct to be poor fits. So these items need to be deleted. So and then we go to this one. We need to delete X12 and we need to calculate estimate again. Okay, after the X12 uh, is delete and the new model is run. And as you can see, all the factor loadings are above a greater than 0 0.6 and that means it's a, it is in a good fit okay let's say you found that the factor loading is in a negative value it is okay if it is in a negative value and one more example if you found that the x11 have a factor loading that is below than 0 0.6 and then you delete it almost cannot calculate this one this is because uh, the model should have at least four items left after the deletion process is done in order to avoid identification identification problem. Okay, in the case where three items left in model, the degree of freedom the f equal to zero, and the probability cannot be computed since the model is just identified and all values obtained are not meaningful. Okay, secondly, we need to check the validity. Validity is the ability of instrument to measure what is supposed to be measured in the construct. Okay? There are three types of validity. One is a convergent validity. Two, construct validity. Three, discriminant validity. Okay, we go to the first one, convergent validity. We must calculate AVE. AVE. This AVE, the value of the AVE must be greater than 0 0.5. Okay, how to calculate? Okay, just now, after you calculate estimate, you had all the factor loading in here okay and then i have uh, developed i had developed AVE and cr calculator in excel you may ask if you want the excel file from me okay and then we key in each factor loading in here you know each uh, factor loading for x11 x13 14 and x15 okay as we we just only have four items and then it will calculate your AVE and CR and you can see the AVE is a 0 0.7702 is greater than 0 0.5 and the CR is 0 0.902 okay after you have calculate the AVE and then you need to construct fitness index you know uh, okay how you construct fitness index okay first I show you this one you have to select the fitness indexes you copy and then you go to the almost put it in here click the title issue control v okay and click okay okay we move it to this side and then after that we just click the click estimate and that almost you calculate it calculate your fitness index Okay, you see that the almost have calculated your fitness index for you okay we, you don't need all these eight uh, eight measurements okay you can see here I had uh, highlighted on you can just okay from these four measurement you can know that the construct is fitness or not okay the last one is this discriminant validity where we need to identify the redundance okay I once we identify the pair of redundant items, the model, in terms of high modification indices MI. Okay, I give you an example. Okay, let's say the construct just now. Okay, we go and click to view text. Okay, go to the modification indices. Okay, you can see that, okay, from here, MI that are greater than 
then 15 must be deleted in this example as you know that the x12 have the lower factor loading and their mri is so greater than 15 so we need to delete e2 okay let's say this happened in the modification indices where e1 to e3 e2 to e3 e4 to e3 e5 to e3 you know which one you think that uh, you should delete from the construct i think that you should delete e3 because most of the error is towards it so in order to get a good construct you need to delete e3 and the x13 okay the last one to check is the reliability you can use SPSS to check the internal reliability uh, you can calculate the Chrome bar alpha the Chrome bar alpha need to uh, exceed uh, 0.7 I will not show here and then the composite rela reliability and the average variant extracted to calculate you can use Excel that I just show you just now and I think that's it from that's it from me now um, thank you for your listening and see you again bye